Hey, uh, welcome back to another little video. It's been a little while since I uh, made one of these. I got very busy with moving, but I figured I uh, I should record some bin grading and tell you guys a little bit about the process. Um, I went through making these. Uh, it was all pretty painless, to be honest. Um, I came up with the idea for these just sketching a little bit uh, in Procreate. Um, the idea of having them be these matching matching headshots behind a fan, um, I really liked. Uh, later found out that that did up the cost a lot, because obviously then I'm making two separate pins, which I didn't realize um, that uh, things about mold fees and stuff like that. I had no idea how this went. The, uh, the person I got in contact with uh, just explained it to me. Um, and, well, I paid for them because I really wanted to have these matching pins. I thought it's something that I, you know, hadn't seen a lot, so... Yeah, that's why I wanted to do that. You can see here, I'm picking up... Oh, this is voiceover, by the way. I'm still <laughs> too shy and forgetful to record stuff as I'm, as I'm working on things. Um, so yeah, voiceover for now. I'm just checking them. I I divided them into piles uh, of roughly the same amount. Or all, I'm that's what you're <laughs> seeing right now. That I'm um, divvying them up into equal amounts. Um, it's not a huge amount that I'm grading right now. At this point, I wasn't sure how many I would list or if I would also list them separately, which I did end up doing. Um, but then I <laughs> didn't end up selling any of the the uh, single ones, which to be honest, you know, don't separate them, <laughs> is what I was thinking. So it's nice that uh, people wanted the the full set. Um, here you can see um, the character I named Laodike. Um, I was uh, studying uh, Hellenistic history <laughs> in my for my uni degree. Uh, featuring um, earthquakes caused by my dear boy, my sweet cat Bamicha. He has uh, also featured in this video a couple of times because he uh, he always likes to help me do tasks. Um, yeah, I think they come out very nice. Um, when I was designing them, I really had to think in a sort of negative space way because uh, as you can see everything that's silver so the outlines but also the design on the fan um were my outlines in the design file so um, got another earthquake caused by my dear boy <laughs> but yeah it got a little bit confusing for my brain to handle sometimes but in the end i um just made all the outlines red instead of black but which definitely helped because I had to keep in mind that the silver parts are reflective so they can either reflect kind of dark black and actually look like dark outlines on the pin or they can you know actually be silver which is lighter than um, the enamel the colored enamel that's be that's filled in it's especially obvious on the other pin on Artemisia but um, you can you can see it here when I'm moving it around in the light. Um, I'm glad it you know worked out in the end though. It's something that I'll have to explore some more. Not just using, not just doing just outlines, but yeah, keeping in mind where the metal parts are and playing around with that. I hope this is interesting um, to hear a little bit about. I'm planning to uh, record making my uh, next pin design from the start so you guys can actually see the kind of file that I'm sending to the manufacturer um, and maybe see me unpacking it for the first time when it arrives. It does take a while. Uh, I think it took like six-ish weeks um, for the pins to arrive from the moment that I contacted the manufacturer. Um, oh, just now you saw uh, a kind of common uh, well, I saw it a couple of times, mistaken these Laodike pins, where some of the crevices uh, between the snakes um, were filled in with white enamel or weren't covered by the metal or something like that. I'm not sure how that works or how it happens. Here's another one. Um, 
Uh, still the ratio I think was really good. I I mean, I'm obviously not experienced, but um, it was only like 10% um, that weren't basically perfect, uh, or only had like really minor, minor things like a teeny black dot somewhere on the pin or something like that, um, which I think is good, <laughs> good thing. Um, uh, usually I would be kind of tough on them in the first round, and then when I picked up the um, the pins again to check them over, the, the ones that I designated as second, if I didn't see the problem, like if I really had to search for it again, then I might... Um, Put them in the in the just like the first pile again, and oftentimes you could just if there seems to be some some imperfection about it, I could just rub it off with my thumb, and you know it looked perfect after that. Um, just I tried not to be too too <laughs> tough on them. Um, here's another here's another little white piece, and these are things that you obviously are pretty clear to see, like, if you pick it up, um, if I could immediately see some, a problem like this. And here there was some sort of, like, rust-colored um, parts on the metal, and that was a second as well. I'm not gonna list these, uh, I don't think, until I maybe have enough seconds to do, like, a second sale. I think those tend to work out pretty well. I know a lot of people don't care about something small like that white piece of enamel or something like that, but um, yeah. Uh, on to the next pin. Oh, I should. Uh, I shouldn't forget to mention this, but my I filmed these with my phone camera, and it does wash them out a little bit. They're especially on the Artemisia pin. This one, it's um, they're a lot warmer in real life. Um, you can see it in the in the like product photos which are also taken with the same phone, so I'm not sure why it does that when it's recording video. Um, but yeah, in the product photos you can see the real colors more accurately. Here I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to actually pin these to the backing cards that I designed. Um, first I was like, well, I can do it through a bubble mailer, but it wasn't nearly thick enough to actually work. Then I forgot that they still had the pin clutches on, um, the little rubber, rubber rubber clutches in the back, which I also had to take off, but I spared you that footage, because it was just my... F I, <laughs> I have ordered one of those uh, Galloway Labs pin clutch removers by this point, but it hadn't arrived. It took ages, as, as any male from America does to hear, um, but I hadn't gotten that yet, so I was <laughs> really uh, peeling them off. <laughs> It's a lot of finger strain, which I didn't want to expose you guys to. Yeah, um, pinning them, I tried to, did my best, oh god, I did my best to line these up. Um, didn't always work out, like this time. Um, I fixed it, you know, I uh, fixed it, but it, uh, it could be, it could be a little bit of a struggle sometimes. It's fine in the end. Look, look, people are surely going to take them off their backing card anyway, so I didn't need to be this crazy about it, but, you know, I wanted it to look nice. I think it does. I think it does look nice. I think maybe the backing card that I designed for this is a little bit busy, um, but, you know, it's my first time, so. Okay, arranging them, I, uh... <laughs> I think this was for a, a uh, I wanted to use it for a um, thumbnail or something like that, or a picture to upload, I don't know. Anyway, shove those to the side. And um, we're going to start sleeving them in these little glassine sleeves. They're a really good size for them, luckily. Um, the cards are um, 65 by 65 millimeters. And the sleeves are a little bit wider than that, which is nice. I mean, I think it would have been perfect if they were a little bit narrower, but you know, again, people aren't going to keep these sleeves. <laughs> I just like packaging a lot, <laughs> and especially if it like works out very prettily. I don't have uh, footage, footage of it, but I uh, sealed all of these with a little bit of washi tape as well. Um, and I figured 
during the sleeving I could uh, insert a little clip of my progress, the little time lapse video that Procreate records. Um, oh, this is the print that I um, added in the July art set. It's uh, it's just part of the part of the progress. I can't. I don't have any other parts of it. I don't know what I did, um, but this is mostly just sketching and outlining in a garish color. So I, um, it helps me keep track of the different layers of clothing and fabrics and what which parts are the bodies of the characters and things like that. Uh, referenced. I looked up a bunch of Art Deco art and flappers and things like that, or flapper art. Uh, it did very dramatic poses <laughs> and a lot of like shapely fabrics, uh, which I really like drawing. And then uh, I also wanted a sort of veil situation, um, which I always like drawing, but I have a hard time getting it to look right. I think it turned out okay in the end. Uh, later on I'll have some footage of me printing. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I think it uh, turned out pretty nice. No, no. As you can see, we've got Bamaja helping again. He's uh, just very interested. Yeah. Screaming. And the bookmarks. I don't have any footage of me sketching these because I did it on my uh, PC and I haven't really worked out how to uh, work with OBS and stuff like that. That doesn't massively slow down my computer. Um, but yeah, usually when I render stuff I do it in Photoshop on my PC. I just prefer the brushes, how the brushes work. Um, I'm used to it, I guess. I I definitely won't say that it works better than in other programs, but yeah, I got two-sided bookmark and then the stickers as well. I All of them I started in Photoshop because I rendered parts of these and then moved to Procreate for outlines and the, the more illustrative flat elements. I think they turned out nice. And then I ended up making a little freebie sticker as well because um, I only had my first little freebie of Pippa, and a lot of people had already received that one. I didn't want to Pippa. send another one. Um, yeah, there is a... That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope uh, I can make more soon.